Hello folks, welcome back. This is uh, session eight, first part. And we're going to talk today about Mixture Models and Expectation Maximization Algorithm. And in this part, we will be discussing the introduction of Mixture Models, what, what are they, and how we can use them, okay? So basically, um, if you remember from last lecture, we were discussing about um, graphical models, right? So these mixture uh, models, they just extend the idea of latent variables. So if you remember when we were discussing about these uh, latent variables within the model, what we have is some, some particular information that is hidden from, from us. So basically we don't know what these variables are. Uh, we may know how many we have, we may not know that, it depends on the, on the particular problem. But what we assume is that we have more uh, visible variables than latent variables, okay? So these, uh, these assumptions should, should hold. And these latent variables are really useful because they allow, they allow us, for instance, to do compression or to do some distillation of representation in which we can just take only the information that is really necessary and put it into this hidden state. And we extend this idea of latent, latent variables to, to our mixture models. So we define a mixture model as um, a sum of different, of different models that are weighted by some particular um, probability. So in this case, for instance, what we have over here is a discrete latent uh, mixture model, in which are like, like these latent variables are CIs. They live in this discrete space. And since they are discrete, our probability over them, it's a categorical, right? So we have what is the probability of being in, in a particular category? And then what we will use is that we will use a particular um, base distribution. And this base distribution represents what that, that category knows about the data, okay? So at the end, when we want to do some prediction of this XI, what we do is to ask each of those models and that's why it is a mixture, right? Because we're mixing the results of all, all of their, their beliefs with respect to some prior information or with respect to some uh, probability of how likely that data is, okay? And, and yeah, that's it. It's, it's, as you see, it's a really, really simple idea, but really useful. One of the most used um, models is this mixture of Gaussians or MOG or GMM, depending on, how do you want to call it? Like this is a mixture of Gaussian sort of Gaussian mixture model. And it is in the same shape as this one over here, as you see. So what we have is the probability of XI given the parameters. And it is nothing else but a mixture of normals in which each of these categories, we have a particular parameters, right? So I have a mu K and a covariance matrix K for each of those. And I will have this uh, P, pi k's uh, with respect of each of those uh, categories, right? And similarly, we can do this for any diff any any uh, distribution that you want or, or that you may have. So we have some multi nullis over here, and these are uh, Bernoulli distributions, right? So I'm doing the mixture of, of Bernoulli's. Um, what I'm going to do is just to mix them um, in the same way as before, right? We just plug these these particular uh, distributions over here. Um, we can do like this in a in a more general uh, sense. For instance, if I want to predict something with respect to my my x size, and they work in the same in the same way, I will learn a, a set of of weights or parameters based on on each category or each of those experts, and then what I'm going to ask is uh, to predict what what category am I. In each, of, uh, in each of the data points. And then just simply do um, a weighted sum of those, right? So basically what I'm doing here is just asking what is the most probable, the, mo the most likely result if I do the, the average over all those uh, problems, right? Based on these experts. So this uh, probability of C of set I given the data is like a gating function. It tells me uh, how much should I believe or how much should I uh, kind of take into consideration the response of each of those experts. If you see in here like the main difference between this PC 
uh, given XI and this model over here is like my PC is fixed, right? Like I have some prior prior uh, information. I'm going to use that prior to 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 weight all my experts. In this case, I'm going to use the information that comes from the data. So I am I am kind of adaptively changing my belief of the different categories, right? And to use these these things over here, it is really straightforward. We just push them. Um, in the previous classifiers that we had as before. So we just simply use that distribution, my likelihood of data given the, the classes, and I just define it as this mixture, for instance, and then just solve as we did before. Um, another type of kind of really useful thing to do with these kind of things is uh, soft clustering, and or clustering in general, actually. And for instance, in the case of the soft version, what we have is that we just use this weighting, weighting function, right? But, uh, uh, well, in this case, we don't have the Y, so it is just the likelihood of the data uh, times the belief of that, of that particular class. And then I just normalize it. And then my likelihood of the data with respect of that, um, of that uh, particular cluster or that particular expert, if you want, gives me uh, how much, how good it is a uh, fit to that particular model. So this is uh, what we call the responsibility of the model because this cluster is being responsible of modeling the, that particular data point, okay? And if you want to have a hard cluster because this will be um, a number, right? Uh, a probability of, of belonging to that particular cluster. If you want to have a, a hard assignment, you can just simply take the R max of this value over here. And that will give you a really nice approximation on how to, to approach these particular problems. So yeah, that is the introduction of, of Mr. Gashum of uh, mixer models. So basically, again, just repeating, just a weighted sum of experts or just a weighted sum of models. So in the following parts, we will talk about how to compute the parameters and how to um, estimate these when we have um, a more complex model, okay?